drives or motivates us to do what we do each and every day? Events. Events require communication. Have you ever heard of the phrase, one is the loneliest number? In life, each and every one of us need others to help us in our communication so that we are not misunderstood. Your commitment for being here at Perfect Toastmasters is driven by a need to improve your communication. As I communicate to you tonight, remember, renewing your dues in your, or your membership is your next step. <laughs> Each and every one of us have gotten to this point from some reason. Some could be personal, some could be professional. Mine was professional in the beginning. I had my review with my boss, and he said, you know, I'm trying to think of some things that you can do to improve. I think you can improve your public speaking. So I started coming to Toastmasters. That has grown into a personal uh, need now, because coming here, listening to these speeches, listening to what everybody else has to offer, has made me realize how much more there is with communication as a whole. All that matters is you're here now. Why did we choose Toastmasters? Was it because it's an established uh, firm that's been around for a long time talking about public speaking? Is it because it's cost effective? It's only $100 a year. Is it because of the friendly atmosphere? Look around. Look at happy faces. For me, it's all about and the addition of being able to be Parker Toastmasters having this day, this time, is convenient for me, as I'm sure it's for you since you're all here. And this is all great and dandy, but it doesn't tell me what drives us to come every week. What I believe drives us is the skills that we acquire. Toastmasters International provides us with the tools. Parker Toastmasters, like other clubs, provides us with the knowledge on how to use these tools. Not just how to use them, but how to be effective with these tools. Toastmasters International also provides a path, a structured path, that you can take this journey and you can get your CL, your CC, you can go on with the DTM. Some of us may not want to go that structured path. That's fine. You can still come here for your own personal goals. Parker Toastmasters is a safe haven that will provide constructive criticism for you to meet your goals. But what really drives it is the fact of the results. Personally, I use everything that I've learned with Park Toastmasters on a weekly basis. Not only do you learn speaking skills, you learn leadership skills by participating in doing roles during our meetings. As the author, I've learned to listen. I sit in meetings and I are on conference calls, and I can distinguish how these filler words, these vampire words, suck the meaning out of these conversations. I will be on a call, and I hear those, and I get so distracted. I understand how it's so easy for the communication to break down. I also become very critical, and I can tell if someone has prepared a pre presentation versus someone who is just talking off the cuff. I had one conversation just a week ago, and I could tell that she had no clue of what she was talking about, because she must have said so, um, every filler word I could think of, like a hundred times. I don't even know what the conversation was about. <laughs> <laughs> Tom.
timer. You <coughs> learn to do your presentation in a certain amount of time. This is key if you're going to be doing a, a presentation with other people that have time to discuss their items. I don't want to be the one who call it, that causes that meeting or that conference call to go over because I didn't plan and talk way too much. General evaluator, Toastmaster, the ability to take several people in a meeting, organize them, call them out, make sure that all the topics that are supposed to be discussed in that meeting are discussed and everything is done within a amount of time is a critical type role and a skill. Grammarian, new words. Every, every week we learn a new word. Redundant. It's key to learn these new words because you can use them in everyday conversation. Most important, you learn public speaking. And this is from my personal advantage. I've been able to come up here, hone in my skills, learn that confidence, be relaxed, and be able to constructively discuss something and give a presentation that is related to the audience and that they take away the meaning and understanding the point that I was trying to get across. In life, these skills will be used everywhere. And not to leave out table topics. Table topics, having this skill that we exercise on a weekly basis, where we come up here and off the cuff discuss a topic that we may have no history or any knowledge of is a great skill. How many times are you at work and somebody comes up and I <coughs> ask you something, hey, I heard such and such is doing this or such and such won the game. You may not have any idea what they're talking about. You may not even have an interest in that topic. But to be able to come across that you're not being arrogant or cold or you're not answering them, gives you that sense of professionalism that they will remember and they will take back. I ask that you continue coming to Parker Toastmasters. Your journey has started. We will get there together. Please join us in continuing your journey at Parker Toastmasters. Remember, you are Parker Toastmasters. Thank you. Our final speaker for the night is going to be Nikhil, and evaluating Nikhil is going to be Valerie. Valerie? Thank you.